It's that time of year again. When people all around the world gather to gaze at the night sky with the common goal of seeing hundreds of shooting stars pass by. Yes. The Perseid meteor showers have returned to dominate our night sky this year. This is what every dreamer who has ever imagined a night sky full of shooting stars has wished for. Every year, between late July and in August, the Perseid meteor shower is one of the most popular attractions for sky watchers and astronomers. So naturally, many questions might have risen in your mind, such as, in which countries will this meteor shower occur? What are the best timings to see it? And most importantly, can we see it with naked eyes? So without wasting any more time, let's get into the details of this spectacular meteor shower. Meteor showers are a natural occurrence that occur as the Earth passes through streams of debris left behind by comets and asteroids. When one of these debris collides with the Earth's atmosphere, it burns up at a height of about 80 to 100 kilometers, resulting in shooting stars. The Earth's orbit crosses over these intense streams on certain days of the year, resulting in an annual meteor shower. Our planet Earth crosses the orbital path of comet Swift-Tuttle, the parent star of the Perseids meteor shower, every year between July 17 and August 24. Debris from that comet slams into the upper layers of the Earth's atmosphere at speeds of up to 130,000 miles or 210,000 kilometers per hour, filling the night sky with fast-moving meteors in the constellation Perseids. Swift-Tuttle is a 16-mile wide ice and rock comet that orbits the Sun every 133 years. The Perseids are well known for their fast, dazzling meteors that create lengthy trails of light and color as they burn over the Earth's atmosphere. The meteors are called the Perseid because the point from which they appear to fall lies in the constellation Perseus. Scientists and astronomers expect that the meteors will fall at an astonishing rate of 150 to 200 meteors per hour. This meteor shower definitely needs to be seen from a good vantage point. Surprisingly, there is a great area on the planet where meteor showers may be observed the greatest. It is known as the world's astronomy capital, and with good cause. Their mountains contain the most telescopes of any area on the planet, and the sky is very black providing meteors a great canvas to sketch their art on. Hey, it seems like 83% of you are not not subscribed yet. I would really appreciate if you join the channel for more such amazing videos. Back to the video. Location and Timings to See the Perseid Meteor Shower While meteors will peak from August 11 to 13, they will normally begin streaking across the sky on July 17, and will be visible from that day until peaking, and for about 10 days after that. While peak viewing days are typically your best hope for seeing a vividly colored sky packed with meteors, you should be able to see some meteors between midnight and sunrise on any morning a week before or after that date, even if it is not during the Perseid's peak time span. The radiant point of the meteor shower will be in the constellation Perseus, but the meteors may fall from any part of the sky. It is important to note that visibility may be reduced due to the presence of full moon close to the radiant point on the night of the peak. Here is a list of 15 major cities and their exact timings to view the shower on the night of the peak. San Francisco Seattle Los Angeles Denver Austin Oklahoma City Chicago Nashville Ottawa New York Boston Santiago Brasilia Rio de Janeiro Madrid London Paris Rome Dubai Lahore Mumbai New Delhi Kuala Lumpur Singapore Manila Sydney Auckland Keep note of these bonus tips for stargazing the meteors efficiently. 
the meteors will be less visible within cities due to high light pollution. So a safe spot in the outskirts, where there is not much pollution and few or no buildings, to block your view is the best location. Notice the color of the meteor. The color of the meteor depends on its chemical composition. A nitrogen meteor looks completely different from an iron meteor. Give your eyes at least 30 minutes to adapt to the dark before going out in the night sky for you stargazing. Last but not the least, be patient. Patience is the key. Bring yourself a blanket or lawn chair for reclining comfortably while looking up at the sky. What are your thoughts about the Perseids meteor shower? Do you like watching bright and colorful shooting stars in the night sky above? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Also, describe your experience if you did observe any shooting star. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. I hope you really liked it. Best of luck and I hope you have a wonderful sky gazing. Consider subscribing to the channel if you liked the video. And as always, thanks for watching.